Our time for us to go to Peter Meyer in the North Eastern Footy League and an enthralling weekend of football of the last round of home and away matches. Uh, Peter joins us. How are you there, Peter? Good, Wayne. How are you? Good. A uh, bit of warmer weather, uh, maybe some gusty, windy weather and even a shower later uh, in the afternoon tomorrow. Could uh, make for a very interesting weekend, Peter. Yes, it could make for a very thrilling finish to uh, who finishes top, second and third. It will do. We're going to have a look at that in a moment. Last week, RSMU got back to their very best, 18-10, 118 to North, 7-11-53 at the Clare Oval. Um, you'd, you'd reckon that young Parkinson's come of age? Oh, yes. He's uh, up and going, and uh, it, it's good to see uh, a young fella really taking the pit by the, well, the bull by the horns and having a real crack, and uh, he's done very well in the Clare Oval. I reckon it might have been one of those Merino Rams up your way by the horns, but uh, he's done well at all. Uh, Clarkie with four supported Parkinson. Slee, Jordan and the Parkinson, the better players, and uh, it was tough going for North Clare with O'Neill, Jay Panaho and C. Helbig. The Southern Saints have done what we thought uh, would be possible, a big game and the match of the season, or maybe the second match of the season between these two sides. After the draw earlier in the year, the Saints 10-10-70 beat BSR 9-7. 761 in an absolute beauty. It was a very close game. A lot of physical contests. Uh, started with a, you know, a lot of physicality about the game, and uh, it, it, it pro- progressed throughout the day. And it was a very close game at, in every quarter. And being uh, the home ground advantage that he under, I think that just tipped the scale in, in their favour. And uh, Hardy at full forward was hard to control because he kicked five goals. A couple in the last quarter that just give them the, the the advantage. So no, it was a very good game, well contested. Well contested, and I tell you what, Delorna with a couple and Eagle with three got in there too to help out to Hardy. But Moller's three and Hines just with three led the way, and um, Hayes, the two Hayes boys, the three Hayes boys really all got happening. Hasmer and Moller too, uh, Stazanowski, Green, and uh, Eagle for the Saints. What about this result? Min Man have got uh, beaten by Bly Snowtown six eighteen fifty four to eight five fifty three, and uh, they say that Ryan Darling wound back the clock in his 300th game. Yes, and it was good to see, you know, Ryan making 300 games for, uh, for Blythe Snowdown, and uh, it was a terrific effort. It's been a terrific effort because he'd spent a little while in town too, and that probably uh, delayed the 300th game, but, you know, it was good that the team could lift around him and get him, get him over the line, and it was an enthralling contest, and well done to Blythe Snowdown. You yeah, one that got away from Min Man because a real good effort though from Min Man. They did lose their way um, in this game, but they get another chance still to uh, have a go at uh, Yudunda Robertstown this weekend. Sando with three, Ruska with a couple, Clifford a couple for Blythe Snowdown. Bar. Pratt and Ottens and uh, Carling and I'll give uh, a mention for Ryan Darling for being uh, one of the best players of all time uh, in uh, this uh, North Eastern Footy League. Well, uh, we then have a look uh, at uh, the final match in South 18-7 beat BBH 16-11 in a high-scoring shootout. It was a high-scoring shootout. Uh, South got away to a good start, kicked uh, eight goals in the first quarter and lo and behold back came BBH in the second quarter and kicked eight goals. So there's only three points or a few points in it at half time. And then uh, South gradually worked their way uh, to the top and was able to finish in front of the final siren for their first win for the season. I think the boys were pretty joyous. And I know their coach, who probably got thrust into the job uh, a bit late in the season, uh, was happy to finally get a win with the South Clare boys. Yeah, they did well to get it. Ballantyne's been brilliant for them. Uh, Boylan, uh, too, very good player from Elliston. Four apiece for them. Uh, and Dinning and Greg uh, also helped along the way with their good play. Newton, um, another fella from over there on the peninsula. And uh, Pierce and Haddo did some good work. Um, Smythe with six has had a great season for BBH and one of the um, players that has kicked big bags throughout the year. OK, brings us to this weekend, Peter. And, oh, this is going to be an absolute the beauty of a final home and away set of matches. The one at the top to start with is BSR at Brinky. They take on RSMU. This will be the game. If they can win this RSMU, they have a chance of the double chance. They do and it's uh, and BSR need to win it to keep their double chance alive too. So, you know, it's a 
a mini final before before the final. So, you know, it'll be a very interesting day at Brinkworth. A bit of wind will be around, I fear, and uh, maybe a shower rain later in the day. Anything could happen, and you know, at at, uh, at the Brinkworth Oval. So, you know, both teams will be really on the medal to have a crack, I would think. Uh, that second double chart up for grabs. Oh, it's going to be, and I tell you what, in the form that um, the RSM will take into this match, and BSR coming off that a real hard body crunching game against you, Dunder Robertstown. Oh, it could be an upset just brewing here, but at Brinkworth, I'm tipping a Tiger to win it. BBH play North Clare for a consolation, and you know what? BBH last a week against the South, they kicked a big bag of goals and they run the ball well. And at home up there, uh, that windy ground, uh, gee, this could be tough football to be played, and you never know. The home side might get. Get over North Clare. Well, there is every chance. They are, as they proved last week, they're capable of kicking a reasonably big score. Uh, I've said all year that, you know, that they probably haven't just blended well as a team because of the people that have come into the side. But, you know, they've got Smythe, Newton, or well, two Smythe and Newtons and those type of guys. They're good footballers. And it was interesting to see them perform very well last week at the windy hill of Borough, where it's cold and freezing most times, you know, there's always a chance for the home team to win, and it, and it could be tomorrow. And North have probably just fallen off a little bit uh, in the last couple of weeks because their chances of getting in the four slipped away. Injuries played a big part in that. But uh, it'll be an interesting game at Borough tomorrow, and maybe the home side will get over the line. And what about South at home? They had a win last week, but Bly Snowtown have also had a win uh, and a famous win for their um, famous son, Ryan Darling. Will they come up uh, again and have a go? Or can South win at home? Well, they've learned how to win. Uh, you know, they've been around the mark in the last three or four weeks, South. Uh, they've kicked scores, and uh, they were able to get over the top of Borough last week. Home ground, they'll be keen to have another win. And Bly Snowdown... You know, they've gradually improved as the year's gone on. They've sort of got together as a team. Some of the young players have come in and the coach has worked, you know, to blend them into the side. And they showed a bit of form last week. Again, a very close game. Uh, probably the home ground vantage could only be a few points in it at the end, but maybe South will just get up. I'll tell you what, since the Southern Saints um, have uh, been in this competition, uh, Yudunda came to the comp uh, from the BLG uh, 25, 30 years back. And with that in mind, they've always had a bit of a nemesis side. And Min Man have always found a way to beat those Southern Saints. And I uh, come across the hill and they'll go through Julia and all that part of the world. And I'll tell you what, at Manura, this is going to be on. The top side, the Southern Saints, they're coming up against Min Man who think uh, nothing like beating them and pushing them off the top. That's right. You know, I, it'll be a hell of a game at uh, Manura, don't worry. Um, and it's you know, a bit different ground for people to play on. Uh, you don't go there all the time, and it just opens, the op- opens up the opportunity for Mintero to give uh, Southern Saints a bit of a push. And, you know, they were capable of doing it early in the season, so it will be on tomorrow at uh, Manura. There'll be no doubt about that. I'm just not sure how... Um, one of the priors was out last week with a hamstring strain, whether he'll be back this week or whether they picked up any injuries from last week. But, it, you know, they're working towards the finals. Southern Saints, they are uh, got their side together a bit. And uh, Min Man, they'll be a bit uh, frosty after losing last week. So it'll be on. Oh, will be. Pryor will be missing with that hamstring. Hardy will be up forward kicking goals. Lorna will be looking here for another three votes from the umpires, uh, which could put him right up the top of the male medal. On the other side, Ryan McDermott, the veteran, has been good in recent weeks, and the Sando boys uh, will play hard in this match, and Nichols is a good player. So, oh, look, it'll be a beauty. I'm going with the Saints to get home in a great uh, win and a minor premiership win for them if they can do that, which would be great. They're looking for a premiership, that's for sure, and that's what they want to get next when we get to finals footy and we'll talk to you more about finals footy Peter Meyer in the weeks to come looking forward to the results coming through yes it'll be an interesting weekend and a prelude to the finals where next the next weekend we'll have the first and second semi-final on the same weekend so looking forward to it and uh, all the best to the teams for the last minor round ah yes Peter Meyer talking northeastern footy